I'm Peter. I'm Donald. I'm Raymond. I'm a real estate broker for the past 40 years. I'm an industrial optical technician. I'm a retired construction worker. Raymond is uh, my baby brother. I have two friends, Peter and Raymond, and we collect things. If I looked up order in the dictionary, Webster's latest edition, you'd see Donald's name. I don't consider myself a hoarder. I consider myself a book collector. I'd say Donald has 75 ton, 2,000 pounds to a ton. I'm Marie. Peter's my father. My dad, my Uncle Raymond, and Donald. I like three peas in a pod. Between the three of them, they could probably film the Tuxbury Airport. And we have uh, similar likes, dislikes, and unfortunately, similar problems. If you ask Donald, Donald will say my dad's house is worse than him. You ask my dad, my dad says Donald's house is worse. Donald's number one. It's the only thing he's number one at. I'm number two, and I don't know mean poo, and Raymond's number three. I'm Sam, and Raymond is my husband. Donald does not believe that he has a problem with hoarding. I would consider only one half of one tenth of one percent of stuff in my property garbage, and I can't even put a label on it. I'm not a hoarder. Never was, never will be. I have a lot to do to get this house organized. My brother, same as me, we're both idiots. You can hit us with the same stick as many times as you want. We're just not going to get the message. I told Raymond that if he doesn't clean up his boarding, I will have to leave the house. I would have to leave him and get my own place. This is one of the toughest cases I've ever had. This is three men who are hoarding at various levels. They're each distinctively different in terms of their personality, in terms of their triggers, in terms of their motivation for change. This is a big job, a level 10 hoard. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. These three guys are the definition of codependency. These guys have had a blast. This is what they do. They love it. It's who they are. The problem is, the party's over. We are at Donald's house. He's not really interested in participating right now. Goodbye. Bye. Go ahead, Raymond. Go home. Be careful. Don't, don't fall down my steps. There was no intent for us to clean this house. Donald came out swinging. It is not even lunchtime, and I've been kicked off this property. Donald has officially pulled the plug. We still have Peter, we still have Raymond, who are open to this help, and so we'll move forward. Hey, Sam? Yeah? Come on down, we'll talk to you. Yeah, you know, in hoarding, you can't help everybody, so we're gonna spend our time and focus on the people we can't help today. The schedule's changed, the location's changed, but the destiny is not. So lucky you, we're gonna spend more time here. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. We came over to Raymond Sands just to see what we could get done. Metal scrap? Yeah, metal scrap, it's good. It turned out to be the exact opposite of Donald's. Not only did we get in the door, but Raymond pretty much let us take everything. Raymond. Yeah? There's already a dent. How do you like that? I want to see a big, bigger dent. Okay. 
It's coming, honey. Okay. We got two crews at one house, we got one crew at another house, and we're running our trucks all around. Everybody, last day. We gotta hustle, hustle, hustle. Not that we haven't been working hard. Not a whole lot of debating. This is gonna be doing. All right, we ready? Yes. All right, now let's go. We're standing somewhere we could not stand four days ago. How's it feel? It feels awesome. <laughs> I am very, very proud of you. Raymond's are probably, uh, probably 40,000 pounds between metal and trash. Uh, and Peter's were probably about 12,000 between metal and trash. But at Peter's, we have an entire moving truck full of donate. At Raymond's, we probably have a half a truck. It's an amazing crew. It both, is. Both, both family and Important. Well, let us stress on the family. We're not used to having family that participates this much. That works this hard. <laughs> it's an awesome thing, and we appreciate all the family. These tears that you see coming right now aren't sad tears. They're joyful tears. Peter, you've been a champion. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, honey. That's, you've been a champion. <clears throat> there you go. Give me a hug. <laughs> Thank you. You're a beautiful man. You're very kind. That's wow. a good young lady. This is nice. Look how clean. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Raymond, look. Whose house is this? Yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sheep. They did the, the dolls. Now you get some room to sit down, enjoy the fire, watch the TV. Oh, I feel like I'm on a cruise. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> what room is this? These are three lost souls. Men with good hearts, good intentions, who just wandered off the path. One is still wandering, but two have found their way back home. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.